Yo, what is up guys? It is Patty Kills here. Welcome back to another NHL 18 video. Today's NHL 18 video is going to be the defensive controls in the game as they did change the defensive controls in NHL 18. This is the defensive skill stick we're talking about here. They actually changed a lot of controls. I mean, they have changed a lot of controls in NHL 18. Like, they've actually changed the hip check and uh, a lot of people requested that I talk about the defensive skill stick. So, Drop a like, guys. We're going to go for 20 likes. If you're not subscribed yet, we're trying to get to 900 subscribers. Please subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss a NHL 18 update. So, I'm going to have a defensive skill stick video as is right now. Then, I'm probably going to have an NHL 3s video, probably a full uh, ESHL video later today as well. Because uh, I'm pumping up videos. If you guys want tips and tricks, and I can actually tell you guys how to score goals in NHL 18, plus how to win more NHL 3s. And basically, I was talking maybe being how to be goalie. Um, I try to want to do that, but I never usually play goalie. Maybe I can have uh, one of my friends here who knows how to play goalie um, to talk about it. I have no clue. They have changed the defensive controls, but so it's scoring in the game. I might talk about winning. Goalie. I have no clue. The videos are gonna get hyped. So just drop a like and subscribe. Now, before we actually get into this tips and tricks video, I actually might be doing a collab. Uh, some YouTubers. Um, I'm trying to like, collab talking about some stuff about NHL 18. Maybe running NHL 18 giveaway with some other YouTubers. Uh, I'm trying to run this collab very, very soon. Now, also, guys, um, if you guys want to go check out my second channel, I really want you guys to go subscribe to my second channel. We'll be uploading some insane content there very soon. I'm just getting everything ready. But if you guys can just go subscribe to my second channel, guys, go drop a subscription there. Uh, we're going to try to get to 200 subscribers, and that will be honestly the best thing you guys can do. So, going right into this video, the first thing we have changed is the hip check. I know a lot of people say, where's the hip checking? Because if you don't know, the hip checking was the white analog stick before. Uh, white analog stick. Now they've actually changed the hip checking, and honestly, I'm very surprised. So, they basically made... A LB or L1 for the PS4 guys, plus the clicking the right analog stick as usual. I'm very surprised. I don't know why would they change this. Um, they basically change the hip checking. Uh, I don't really don't want to press LB because to me, hip checking you just press the simply controller like that. Your hip check. I don't really want to press LB for my Xbox or L1. I just don't really want to press. That's just another step to a simple hip check. That we had back in NHL 70. It was just so simple. Now they did added LB. I know it's just one button, LB, L1, but to me, that's gonna add a lot more confusion. This is already a lot of deets involving LB, L1. I already got a lot confused, so I kind of hope they change it back to just the normal hip checking uh, from the actual game. Like, I, I don't really get why they. So, yeah, that was my sister, but yeah, I don't know why they would change that. Now, going on. Uh, everything's kind of the same. If you don't know, they actually added like net battles last year. It's the exact same thing. You hold Y for the defensive. Uh, you tie up players, exact same thing. A board plays Y, exact same controls. LB plus R R P. So basically, L1 plus R1 is the exact same thing. Uh, for the dive block is the exact same thing. But they actually added in some new controls. I'm trying to say here is they actually added in the sweep stick, the pass block plus sweep stick. And basically, they've added this in. Now, talking about the defensive skill stick, I've actually used the defensive skill stick during online matches, and it's honestly really good. Uh, it really helps you in this situation. Now, talking, let's just talk about the first thing. The sweep stick is RB, which is uh, R1. You basically hold R1, LRB, plus the right analog stick, and you sweep the right. Uh, that's the sweep stick. That's basically how you. So it will sweep, and that's a sweep stick. Now, to me, I would actually use the pass block plus sweep stick. It's much better, much more significant. But yeah, sweep stick to me is very easy to do. Like, I, I can remember the sweep stick on the top of my head. It's really easy. Uh, you guys can easily remember this. Like, again, NHL 18, they have all the controls on settings. So you can go check all the controls. And I know a lot of people, it, it's kind of hard to, like, I'm, I'm, I'm a visual learner. I'm not, like, I'm not a good learner, like, I can't just look at directions and say, ah, I got it. I have to actually visually see it. And that's what I'm showing you guys it too. Like, I know a lot of people are visual learners and you, you can't see. So I'm showing you guys some game it. But sweep stick is honestly the easiest control. Like, I think the defensive controls are way easier than the offensive controls. Um, which is 
mind blowing. But on honestly, these controls defensively, you're gonna destroy people that do these. So it's going to be pass block plus sweepstakes. This is the one I think you guys should be doing. But you guys have to be smart about this. You can't just go, you can't just do this because people are easy to get around. You have to be smart about this. Uh, maybe on like two on ones, you can do this when you're on defense. But I've, I've, again, there's no hockey ultimate team. I played, like, to me, NHL 3s, it's way too fast paced to do this. Like, NHL 3s is way too fast paced. Uh, I feel like online verse, you can do it. Uh, but I feel like online verse, you can do it. ESHL is gonna be a little hard, but sweep, see, let's just get it. So it's basically LB or L1 for you PS4 guys, plus the right analog set to the left and the right. Uh, right analog set, left and right. Very, very easy to do here. You guys have seen some gameplay. I think this is the easiest thing to do. Like, I can remember this on the top of my head now. Uh, to me, obviously, stick left is the exact same thing. It's A or X for you PS4 guys. Um, pull check is RB or uh, R1. Exact same thing. Uh, you can hold LT and you can hold the left joystick, uh, and you can, like, skate backwards. Exact same thing. Um, uh, but to me, the defensive overview it's kind of like the exact same thing, man. I'm not going to lie. Like, defensively, they didn't really make that many changes. Like, I thought defensive skill stick had add a lot of new stuff. So, my thoughts on the defensive skill stick, I feel like it's really easy to ex execute these defensive skills. So, to me, man, EA, man, if you're watching this, you're probably not. You need to buff the deking. Like, the deking needs to be more effective, especially on these good defense. Man, like, the defense needs to be good. Like, I... Always get bodied. I, I, like, I execute the defenses pretty well. It's just really easy to defend them. I mean, uh, I, like, like to go fancy, um, but, like, you gotta, like, do something about this. Like, maybe buff them up, because, like, I always get bodied. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I'm always just getting bodied and everything. So, guys, this will be the end of the video, but I want to talk to you guys about something. So, if I might try to get, like, some, like, I'm, I'm trying to get in between the pipes. He's, like, in my little team. We, like, made a content creator team, but I'm going to try to get him on. Uh, I'm going to ask him today if, you know, he wants to make a video to me talking about the ghoulies. Because uh, I want to make a ghoulie tips and tricks video for you guys. Like, I don't, like, I know a lot of you guys know want to know how to play ghoulie. But for right now, just go check out his channel. Leave the link down below in the description. But I'm going to try to do that. I'm also going to make a NHL 3's, another NHL 3's gameplay video. I don't know what's wrong, man. The views have just not been going for me lately. Like, my channel is going downhill. Like, I thought NHL 18 beta is supposed to spice up the views. It's doing nothing. Like, the NHL 18 views have been down for me. I know they've been, I know they've been down for my friends as well. Um, I have no clue why they're down. Maybe nobody's watching YouTube. Maybe everybody just playing the game. I have no clue. But I wish if you guys, if you guys can just share this video with a couple of your friends, try to get this video out there in the search. Because I want, I just want to help you guys become better at NHL 18. I'm going to have a tips and tricks how to score. Because I actually found a ways how to score in this game. It's not even that difficult. Honestly, the, like the exact same thing as 17 just with some new buffs into the game. So yeah, that is the end of the video. Again, 20 likes, guys. Uh, but also, guys, I want to talk to you guys about a couple series I'm planning for NHL 18. I'm going to be planning. So I do have Wheel of Hut planned. Uh, for you guys, Wheel of Hut is actually planned for NHL 18 once a hockey ultimate team comes out. So the first day of NHL 18, I'm just going to log on Wheel of Hut, boom, upload it, maybe record a few episodes. Uh, also guys, for NHL 18 beta, I'm going to do NHL 3's gameplays. I'm going to just try to record as much gameplay as I can for the NHL 18 beta for the 3's. And when the beta ends, I'll just make those videos uh, until August. Uh, but yeah, videos are going to get hyped, man. And I just want the NHL 18 beta, like, I know, like, I just, I wish Hockey Ultimate Team was in the beta, man. Like, I feel like the views are not good. I feel like if Hockey Ultimate Team was in the game, the views would be up for a lot of people. Um, but I don't know, man. Like, I wish, I just wish they had Hockey Ultimate Team in the beta. But that, that's just my opinion right here. Um, also, guys, I'm gonna be doing franchise with all that. Like, the, the, the content is gonna get, uh, uh, like, the content is gonna get pumped up. So if you're not subscribed, Subscribe, turn notifications. So yeah, guys, subscribe, turn notifications. Do not miss the hype, guys. I hope you guys had. A, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, again, guys, can you guys please share this video? Also, guys, go follow my Twitter. Like, I don't really ask you guys to follow my Twitter, but my tw I really like. I look at other people. Like, I, if this is my first time, I'm so close to 300 followers on Twitter. That's all I'm asking. I'm like 20 followers away. Can you guys please just go follow my Twitter? Like, I never ask you guys to go follow my Twitter. Like, I've never asked you guys. And a video like it's all in the link in the description below, but I never asked. Just please, guys, go follow my Twitter, guys. It would mean a lot if you guys will follow my Twitter. I will see you guys next video. Have a great day.
Peace out.